Hey guys, welcome to the fourth video of my series on curses in Python. And in this video, we are gonna learn how we can detect the mouse click by any user on the terminal screen. And then we can also find out the coordinates on which they have clicked on our screen. And then we can take some action according to it. So let's say this is your terminal screen and let's say I click here. Then I should be able to know that I have actually clicked and what is the what are the coordinates of that particular point on my terminal screen. So if I am able to get that particular information, then I, uh, then I can make more interactive applications, right? So that is what we're gonna see in this particular video. We're gonna make a very small application around that. And yeah, that's all it's gonna be. So without any delay, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you have to do is that you have to make sure that you allow your Curses application to detect the mouse clicks so for that you will have to use the mouse mask function in which you can pass different integer values depending upon what kind of click do you want to detect so for a simple click i will have to write one here so that is the code and now what i'm going to do is that i will wait for the user to press something so let's say key is equal to standard screen dot get ch now that key can be a mouse click as well because I have set the mouse mask as one. So now if the key is curses dot key underscore mouse, then it means that it's a mouse click. So let me just try to do standard screen zero zero you clicked. So let's check it out if it works or not. So I will also do standard screen dot refresh that case. Right. And yeah, that's it. I will then wait for the user to press something so that we can get see that output. So yeah, so this is all about it. So let us try out this example. Python 3 test.py, the name of my file. And now let me click somewhere. So look at that. Um, okay, so it is saying, okay, so I have to write standard screen dot add string, right? So that's a silly mistake that I did there. I have to call a function, not the window object. So yeah, so now let me click somewhere. So look at that, it's saying you clicked because I clicked here. So I know you do not know that, but you can try that yourself by working out this code. So yeah, so it's working fine. When I'm clicking, then it is writing something. It means that it can detect a click. But now, what at what position do I, have I clicked? So in order to know that, you will have to use um, a function called curses.getMouse. So curses.getMouse function will now try to find out what you have pressed. So curses.getMouse will return me a five element tuple. So let me show you that tuple. Instead of writing you clicked, let me just print that tuple. So this is my tuple. I am just putting a string representation of that click output. So let me run it now. So now let me click somewhere. So look at that. It is returning five elements. It's a five point tuple. And actually the second value in this tuple is the x axis value. And the third value is actually the y-axis value. So those are the actual coordinates that I need. So you can write it like x comma y is equal to it's uh, or I can simply do it like this. I can use underscores to just ignore the values which I do not need. So just put two underscore here as well. So yeah, that's it. So one, two, three, four, five. And I want the second and the third value, which are the coordinates. So yeah, that's it. So let me just print those coordinates like this, right? Dot format x comma y. Well, actually, I should use y comma x because uh, curses has been using y comma x as the coordinate format. Um, but only in this function, they are using x before y. So that's interesting. So now let me just try to see if we are able to get something or not. So now let me just click here. Or let me just click here like this so look at that the coordinates are 12 comma 0 which means that the value of y axis is 12 and the value of x axis was 0 here at this particular point so it's working fine so in this way we can find out um, we can we are able to detect the mouse click and we are also able to know the coordinate at which the user has pressed something okay now just for your better understanding let me create a very nice and simple application for you the application is like uh, there will be a string and there will be two options to color that string so there will be red or green so if the user clicks on red 
that my string will get red color otherwise it will get green color if i press on uh, if i click on green so that kind of sim simple application i want to create okay so for that first of all i have these two color pairs that i have made the pair with index 1 and the color pair with the index 2 for the first color pair it is that the text color is white and the background color is red for other one it is text color is white but the background color is green so these are the two color pair schemes that i have and now let me initially print my string so let me call it hello so hello is my string which will be keep changing color if i just keep clicking on some buttons so now let me click uh, so let now so now let me make my buttons so my buttons are going to be called red and green so let me just put it like this it will be on the next row starting from zero and it will be called red and let me make another one who which will be on this second index row whose name will be green so the situation is like this so let me just run it to show you the situation that i want to have so if i just click on red then i want hello to become red when i click on green then i want hello to become green right so that is what i want so what i'm going to do now is that i'm just going to create an infinite loop first of all so it's going to be while one and we keep on doing these things now we take the key from the user if the user has pressed through the mouse that I now need to check what has the user pressed or in what region has the user pressed. So if X or let's say Y is equal to 1, which means that I'm talking about the red button. So I want to detect if the user has pressed the red button or not. So what are the coordinates in which the red button um, is placed? So if uh, Y is equal to 1 and X in range, uh, red takes three positions. So it is 0 to 4, the range. So if this is the condition, which means that y is 1 and x is either 0, 1, 2 or 3. Okay, so I can put it 3 here. So x can be 0, 1 or 2. R is at x equal to 0, E is at x equal to 1, T is at x equal to 2. So range 0 to 3 means the same thing. And since we know that the start value of range function is by default 0, so I can just write range 3. Okay. So if y is 1 and x in range 3, then in that case, I know that the user has clicked on red. So in that case, what I would like to do is that I would like to initialize my attribute of the color pair 1, which is red color. And then I would like to write this thing again. And then I would like to off my attribute. So I will pass again curses dot color pair. The same color pair has to be turned off. Similarly, if the user has clicked on y equal to 2 which means the row which contains green and x is in the range 5 which means that it covers g r e e at n then in that case i can color my hello as green so in that case i have to use the second color pair so yeah so that's it so in this way we have written a very simple code for that and also to get out of this um, situation of this while loop i can just put another condition like lf key is let's say equal to 27 which means that the user has pressed the escape key that in that case i would like to break out of the loop so that's it so yeah so let me just remove this get ch doesn't have it, uh, any need and also i would like to refresh my screen if i have changed something right so in order to refresh my screen let me just put this refresh button here standard screen dot refresh that's it so yeah so this is it so let us try it out now okay so now let me click on green look at that the text turned green now let me click on red look at that it is turning red now so these are now acting like buttons red and green are now acting like buttons if i click on green button then the text becomes green when I click on red then the text becomes red so it is working like a very nice application for me right now right and now let me press escape so that I get out of this application so yeah so this was all about making a very nice simple application which uses the concept of mouse click and it is working perfectly fine 
and I hope that this gave you a nice overview of how to use the concept of um, mouse clicks in the Curses application and how can you make your application more interactive with it. So yeah, so that's all about it. If you still have any doubts, you can put them in the comment section below. That's it from this video. Thanks for watching.